Ivan is an intelligence-based support class hero from the Graveborn faction who specializes in buffing his teammates. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at his skills and abilities, his teams and uses, and whether or not it's worth investing in this hero. So let's get into it. His ultimate ability is Spellbound. For this one, Ivan is going to hide into the darkness and become untargetable. While in the darkness, he's going to manipulate an allied hero as his puppet for up to 16 seconds. Now, he's also going to sacrifice 10% of the current health of all other allied heroes and and grant that ally a shield equal to 2000% of his attack rating plus the health sacrificed. Now, while being protected, the ally who is the puppet will also receive additional attack and haste. And this spirit shield cannot be dispelled and is also going to protect that ally from control effects. Now, if the shield is broken, Ivan will manifest early and stop manipulating the puppet, losing 20% of his max health, but he will also re-manifest once the 16 seconds is over and the shield will be dispelled if it wasn't broken in time. However, the remaining shield will be used to heal that ally. Now, while hiding in the darkness, Ivan is able to regenerate up to 800 points of energy. And if there is no allied hero available to receive this effect, Ivan will instead just gain a shield worth 2000% of his attack rating. Next, we have his passive Art of Agony. For this one, each time an allied hero other than the puppet receives damage equal to 5% of their max health, they are going to recover 20 energy for Ivan. That could go up to 50 with skill ups. And on top of that, while being manipulated, he's also going to increase the ally's crit rating by six for every 100 points of energy that he possesses. And then we have another passive Skeletal Squire. For this one, Ivan's going to sculpt one skeletal squire in the allied half of the battlefield every five seconds and its stats will be based upon a multiplier of Ivan's stats. Now the squire dies when its health is extinguished or after four seconds has passed since it was sculpted. The squire will actively attack the nearest enemy whilst also taunting nearby enemies for one second after its first attack. Then after perishing the squire will deal damage equal to 300% of its attack rating to nearby enemies. On top of that when an allied hero dies, Ivan will immediately sculpt an additional skeletal squire where the hero has died. And then we have yet another passive captive audience. For this one, each time Ivan hides into the darkness, he's going to select the nearest enemy as the audience, terrifying them to flee in panic for up to six seconds. On top of that, he's also going to reduce their defense rating. His signature item skill is Soul Booster. For this one, when he hides into the darkness, he's going to continuously sacrifice 2% of the current health of all our allied heroes every two seconds and replenish the shield for 90% of the total health sacrificed. At level 10 and 20, it's going to increase the amount of the shield restored. Then on top of that, at level 30, when other allied heroes sacrifice their health, a puppet is going to recover 100 energy points. His furniture ability is Deadly Price. At level three, when he hides into the darkness, he's also going to sacrifice 8% of the current health of the audience member that he selected from the enemy team every two seconds, which is also going to be used to replenish the shield for the allied puppet. And then at level nine, for the duration of the manipulation, the damage received by the puppet is going to be reduced by 50%. And finally, we have his engravings. At level 30, all squires are going to have additional haste. And on top of that, when they die, they will also make any enemy hit, lose 300 energy points, and be stunned for three seconds. Then at 60 engraving for his audience member from the enemy team, once their control ends, they will have their haste reduced. So from his skills, we can see that Ivan is a very powerful support unit, having three passives and one ultimate, and he will remain off the battlefield for most of the battle. He specializes in protecting one ally with the highest attack and buffing them as much as he can, along with having some control for for his enemies. And for this reason, he's going to work really well with any allied hero in a hyper carry slot that has a powerful ultimate that they want to use a lot and may also struggle a little bit with survival. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at him in the team of Scarlet, Ulna, Rain, 
Palmer and Ivan. Now Scarlet can be changed with just about any DPS you want. Awakened Belinda is another fantastic option, but we have Ulna in this team basically to protect that allied damage dealer in the front row for the start of the battle until they can be shielded by Ivan, whose shields is then going to keep them alive for the rest of the battle. We then have Rain. Rain's great for amplifying damage on enemies and also that extra energy regeneration when we do kill an enemy hero. And then we have Palmer as the sustain and also the buffer for the team to really amplify that damage as much as possible. And then obviously we have Ivan. Like we stated, he is there to protect the ally once Ulna's invincibility finishes from her nine furniture and then just really ramp up their damage and their energy regeneration so that they can nuke the enemies. And Scarlet is a perfect free-to-play choice for this one. But as I said, Awakened Belinda or any other main damage dealer is really going to benefit from this as well. And as you can see, we protect that damage dealer at the start of battle. Ivan jumps on them and then we just start the leading the whole enemy team. As for artifacts on Ivan, Jura's Call is a fantastic one. It's going to help him to get to his ultimate faster so he can start manipulating his puppet as soon as possible when the battle starts, but also because when he is hiding in the darkness, his energy is going to be capped at 800. It allows him when he comes out of the shadows to generate that last bit of energy quickly and then get back in there and manipulate his puppet ally and protect them and amplify their damage. So with all that out of the way, how far do we want to invest into Ivan? Your end goal will eventually be 30 signature item, 9 furniture, and at least 30 engraving. However, the great thing about Ivan is you don't need those things to make him work, so he can scale well with your account. You can leave him at one or 10 signature item while you work on your other key units. And then eventually when you get additional resources, you can look to investing into him. At 30 signature item, that extra energy is really gonna help the puppet. And then when we look at his furniture, it's very similar. If you don't have any furniture, he will still work. If you get him to level th three furniture, then he's gonna add some more survivability to that ally. And then if you get him to nine, having 50% damage mitigation is gonna be great, helping that ally who is being manipulated. So Survive. As for his engravings, 30 is the key one that's really going to help you with reducing energy on the enemy team and also stunning them with those squires. His level 60 engraving is okay, but not necessary. So that is going to be it for Ivan, a very powerful support hero who really focuses in on protecting and amplifying the damage of your main attacker in the team. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.